See, God is telling you that you're going to be alone. And some people aren't strong enough to be alone. Some people will fold under pressure when it comes down to being alone. You got to ask God to give you the strength to be alone. See, I want you to understand this. When Joseph received his vision from God of being ruler over his brothers, God gave it to Joseph when he was alone. When Abraham received his vision, Abraham was alone. Oh man, this is powerful. When Moses was called, Moses was alone. What does this mean? You must look at the works of God and see how God operates. God is telling you that I'm going to give you this vision, this dream alone, and you must walk this righteous path alone because people are not going to support you. People are going to give up on you. People are going to betray you just like Judas. And you got to understand this, that the world that we're living in is full of a bunch of jealous haters who don't want to see you win. A huge percentage of people that you come in contact with are going to be in secret competition with you. Why are they going to be in secret competition with you? The reason that they're going to be in secret competition with you is because when they see that light, they'll get jealous. There's so many people that's disturbed by the fact and by the thought that God chose you. A lot of people want to reject you, right? Because they can't stand that light that you carry. What's the light? The, the spirit of the Lord that's working in your life. The anointing of God. Amen. The blessings that make your life prosper. They hate this. See, everybody want to see you doing good, just not better than them. As long as you were on the bottom, as long as the enemy could try to control the direction of your life, uh, they were okay with you. I always tell you this all the time, brothers and sisters. See, as long as the enemy can have a switch, right, a on and off switch to where they can control that anointing, to where they can control that light, they'll be okay with you. See, some people are happy with who you are. As long as they can say, well, you're getting too big. Let me turn you down a little bit. Let me dim that light. No, 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 enemy. You can't dim this light because God put it in me and not in you. Many are called, but few are chosen. That's what the Bible tells you. And a lot of people are not chosen out here. They're playing around like they're chosen until it's actually time for them to stand up for God's word. Until it's actually time for them to show proof of their hearts. Do they have love in them? No, most people don't. Look around. They don't respect you. They don't support you. They don't love you. The reason why? Because God didn't put it in them to do it. See, sometimes we get into a place where we're expecting people to be something that they're not sometimes we get into a place where we're expecting people to do something that's not in them it's just not in them brothers and sisters and you got to be okay with that cut every demonic force off and walk with the light of god and carry that light they're jealous of your spirit and they're jealous of the anointing that god has placed on you in you